This is the story of Sasha Marsden. She was 16 years old when she was brutally murdered. The following video will outline what happened to Sasha, so I will give you a trigger warning. It is very, very upsetting. I loved her, faults and all. She was our daughter and our baby. She could help anybody out with anything, she would. And that was Sasha. The grief of a family whose teenage daughter was cruelly and brutally taken from them. Sasha Marsden was 16 years old and studying childcare, but her plan to earn extra money as a cleaner in a Blackpool hotel ultimately cost her her life. Her body was found wrapped in carpet and bin liners and partially burned in an alleyway in January. David Minto, a 23-year-old barman at a hotel owned by his girlfriend and her mother, contacted Sasha on Facebook and used the promise of work to lure her to her death. CCTV images show him meeting the teenager and taking her to the hotel. There, he sexually assaulted her, stabbing her 58 times with a kitchen knife, mainly in her face and neck. The force of the blows so powerful, the blade was bent. He further defiled her as she lay dying or dead, then dumped her in the alleyway and tried to destroy the evidence. The horrors inflicted on Sasha's young body caused damage so severe she could only be identified by DNA from her toothbrush. For his sexual gratification, he's robbed us. Saying goodbye to our daughter, robbed us her 18th, 21st, a future, and any chance of. He just robbed us of everything. I could never forgive him, ever. As Sasha's family mourned their loss with a vigil, Minto was already concocting a series of lies to cover his tracks. I found him as a really cold-hearted, callous, evil individual who quite obviously just thinks of himself before anybody else. And I will go so far as to say that his Facebook title of David Demon Minto sort of reflects truly his, his own character. Minto's defence was that he had consensual sex with the teenager and she left the hotel alive. He explained the fact he had her blood on his clothes by saying she'd had a nosebleed. The jury refused to believe him. Lancashire police say they hope the fact that Minto will spend at least 35 years behind bars will provide Sasha's devastated family with some crumb of comfort. The suspect, David Minto, was charged and was sent to court and he was found guilty. David Minto was given a minimum of a 35-year jail sentence. As you can imagine, at that time, having been through a gruelling court case, the family would not have been in any mind to consider the appeal of his sentence. And unfortunately, the law states that they only have 28 days to put in an appeal to obviously overturn the sentence in issued. So Sasha's family are starting a petition to try and get the government to relook at this law. They need to get 10,000 signatures to get this in through the government and to even begin the process. No family should expect to make that kind of decision within 28 days of a case having been tried and sentencing been passed. And so we are trying to help this family get their 10,000 signatures to help make a change in the law and to help them get this reviewed. We know that there is a whole life tariff that can be imposed on crimes that are very brutal in nature, such as that that happened to Sasha. Sasha matters and Sasha's family matters. Sasha's story matters. For this case and sadly any other cases that may happen in the future, Sasha's killer deserves to stay behind bars for the rest of his life. So let's get those 10,000 signatures to at least get the ball rolling and get the government to begin looking at this. And the main aim is to get 100,000 followers overall. Let's help Sasha's voice be heard. Let's get this man kept behind bars to protect other people in the future. 
Sasha's sister is joining me tomorrow, Monday the 10th of July, to discuss Sasha's case and give more information on what we can do to help make a difference for Sasha.